Hello and welcome to Factorio Single Belt. I'm Cretio. In the last episode, that was kind of an episode. But in that episode, we decided to empty out all of the resources we have. Uh, at least in this area. So, where we already have mining set up. We are in the process of emptying it out and for the rest we haven't begun yet, which is kind of uh, a given really. So we set up this major storage area, which as you can see isn't finished yet. There are chests missing, there are inserters missing. There are, it requires so much, uh, and I would like to continue with it, but no, I can't do that. We need to continue on. So what I want to do instead is to, uh, well, I will build a bit of this, I will, of uh, this setup, but what, oh. I shouldn't have done that, I shouldn't have set that up. What I really want to do is to start with a bit of uh, rails. We need stone, where do we, here we go. We can grab half of that as well, 90 rails. And then we need locomotive, actually we need it to be facing two ways, so we need two locomotives. That's 40 engines. Where do we have the engines? I think they're around here, yes. So basically we need a lot of steel for this. One, and then we need one more. There we go. And of course we need cargo wagons. I'm thinking about four cargo wagons. I was thinking about three, but it's easier to uh, distribute stuff on four. Oh yes, what will I do? I will try to get some railroad from this general area down here. We need to mine this out and uh, because we are getting low on iron, 223 K left. Of course we have a bit in this storage system, but it's not too much. We need to get more iron before it uh, completely disappears. So that's the plan for today. Um, but we also need to do that. I think we need to clear out this space and clear out this space and maybe even more bases than that. But let's start with those two bases and see what we can do. Uh, do we have enough power poles? Well, for clearing out the base, sure. Oh, like that. And this we just remove. Oh yeah, that base. Let's have a look. Let's actually have a look for this one. Then we can go even closer. Two small worms, two free biter spawners, and two bitters, uh, two spitter spawners. Maybe we can handle this without even needing uh, laser turrets. Let's see. And we can just shoot them and see what happens. Maybe we succeed, maybe we don't. Hopefully we don't run out of ammo at least. That would be really bad. And now we are close enough to be able to start shooting at the spawners. Get that removed, goodie. And then we can get... Oh, come on, die. Mm. 
Yeah, the most bonus we take down, the easier it gets to get the rest of them. Okay, two spawners left. That shouldn't be a big deal. And it's only small worms, so that shouldn't be too bad either. There we go. That base is taken care of. And next base is this one. But to do that one, we need some more ammo. And I would also guess we need a bit of, uh, a bit of laser turrets uh, turrets I don't think we can do that totally on our own but okay so we have a bit of rails now let's see what actually do we get What do we need? I mean, to start off, we will just build one single rail line, I think. One, one track, and then we will uh, have to handle the rest from that. Okay, a bit of... Uh, Steel, we have a bit of rails already, we have the locomotive, we have some fuel, we need a little bit more fuel, but that's definitely not a problem getting fuel. Not when we have, uh, well, I don't know, more than a hundred thousand fuel stored at least, I don't know how much it is in reality. But we are having a lot of minus mining. Yeah, let's uh, get that amount of fuel. That should be enough to fully fuel two trains. And let's get a bit of uh, a bit of solar panels as well. And the solar panels. Oh no, let's not worry about that the solar panels i was just about to say is to see with the size because we want to complete this and then have another square but if we do that we don't have enough space so let's just drop the solar panels and work without them mm. no solar panels what more can we get rid of we don't need all of that stone or all of that stone something like that we don't need the uh, the remaining engines and that's about it i think yes yeah, so the idea is to have the track on the left side of this stone so let's see if we can go if we can go around here Yeah, I think, I think this is a good spot. Whoops. There we go. And we have some tracks. Let's not worry too much about how it should look over here. Right now we just want to place it. Uh, but we do want the tracks on our hotbar and we don't need any mining drills on the hotbar at the moment. There we go. Now let's see, we do want the tracks, I just want to get the right position down here because this will be 
I think quite hard to move once we got it uh, positioned. So the idea is that we want one, two, three in in between. So like that, and then we do the same on this side. Of course, this is not this will not be done yet with the two tracks but I want to place it in a position where we can have that and yes this is the right uh, the right gap between the tracks I've personally done it a bit different so I was I thought it was like this but I wasn't totally sure one two three four yeah this is in the middle as much in the middle as we can get with this kind of opening okay so let's uh, let's move the turrets a bit there we go and there we go and we have some power And some more power. And let's see if we get this in the right spot. Yep, this seems fine. Oh, this doesn't. Okay, we cut the power for those and for those. Okay. Uh, but we can do it better than that. If we do that, then we connect to this power pole. And no, no, that's irritating. Okay, let's see if we can do it this way. I think it should be possible. I just hope that the Bytos doesn't attack right now. Yeah, that is connected, so we just need to go up from here. There we go. It's not perfect, but it is uh, it is definitely good enough. So what we want is to connect this one with the line we have up here somewhere. Oh, it's further to the left. There we go. This is what we want. Oh, I shouldn't do that. It can be really dangerous to leave the train before it's really, uh, it have really stopped. Especially when you have a weak arm. Oh no. Okay, let's do it like that. There we go. Hopefully it's a straight line. Yes it is. Oh, we have that research being done. I think what we want is gates. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I think the best way of uh, going through here is with the uh, gates for the uh, for the train. Otherwise, we needed to open a hole in the in the defense, and yes, it would work. But is it a good idea? Probably not. We don't have enough. Uh, rails to continue. We need a bunch more. So let's do all of it. Okay, 
So let's get some trees cut down. Okay, how do we do this? I mean, one way is to go. Let's have a look at the map. One way is to go straight through the forest. One way is to actually turn here. I think that's a good idea. Turn here and then we get to uh, we get through the forest and then it should be kind of okay. And looking closely you can see there is kind of a path but we need to take this path. I I think because we do expect to get another track later on. So by going here. And then of course connect these two. Oh, that tree is in the way. Just one track in the wrong place. Not too bad at all. Come on. Let's see how much we have to cut down. I know we do have to cut quite a bit of trees. Just don't want to cut trees that we don't need to cut. Mostly because it takes time to cut them and we don't have any robots yet that can help us out. Come on. Oh, I wasn't close enough. That could be the problem. Oh yeah, and we need to need to make sure we are not getting attacked while doing this because we don't have the best weapon, the best anything. But we do probably have the best weapon in the game, honestly. We do have the train. It's just harder to use. But I think it takes down all kind of uh, bite or attacks. Okay, let's have a look. How does this base look? Oh, no, no, we can't do this without uh, without laser support. So let's go and grab a bit of power poles. We don't have enough power poles, so we need, we need more of them. Let's go back and hope that we find bunch of uh, bunch of power poles or at least some resources to be able to create power poles and we have like 150 250 rails left these hundred as well that should be more than enough 41 of those we don't need more power poles than that to take out some biters so this should be fine. Just go, go, go. And once we pa go past that, we need to slow down. Actually making sure that we do get the, uh, the line as well, and not only the power pole. There we go. Oh, and it's so dark. It's hard to see. Yeah, here it's green, but we don't get the pole line, so it doesn't help us that it's green. Out here, yes. Hmm. 
Wait. Oh! They were placed in the wrong spot. Well, normally the right spot, but in this instance, it's actually the wrong spot. Just plunk them down as ghosts, just to mark out the ID. But then let's wait with attacking. Oh, something is attacking us. Well. Or was it? It might have been the laser turrets we, we added. They might take a little bit of charge when, uh, when you add them. Okay. So we do fully charge the, uh, the accumulators. Which is of course good, but we are using a lot of the power as well. We don't have, well we have like 20 or 25% left just by looking at, oh, it's becoming even smaller. Oh well. I think it's, it's bright enough to be able to attack now. Let's first run and place all of these. And then we can run back. Having the laser turrets take care of the, all of the biters. And then we run forwards and place new turrets on the last power pole. That was not what I planned to do. But it suited me well, so that's what I did. Okay, we do that and we do it once more and we get loads. Oh, we should always go with this coming to think of it. I've been attacking manually as well, but that takes resources. I didn't even think about that until now. But resources is what we have problems with in this playthrough. Attacking this way takes, well of course, oh, I might have to take that one down as well. The resources is the biggest problem we have. Uh, and we should do everything we can to avoid using resources. To take that, we want to go here, then then here and then downwards. There we go. All of it, no, not all of it. Most of it taken down already. One laser is enough. That will... Oh no! Now they attack from another... Another nest. That's the button. Okay, let's hope they don't continue to attack from that nest. Let's instead go back and... Uh, get everything set up. Oh, we have loads of trees to cut down. And just to uh, make it clear, this is sing single belt, but the belt from mining, that is excluded. So we are allowed to have belts from that. Mm. Four of those. This is actually a bad spot I chose. I should have gone further to the to the left, but um, the forest would have been a bit denser, so just let it be as it is. And the reason I'm saying it's a bad spot oh, is because it looks like it's hard to get the station in place. It 
should have been higher up than it would have been easier unless unless we go this way instead and have the station in the trees yes let's do that then the uh, the train is actually protected a bit by the trees as well uh, how do we do that in that case well we do need can we do it if we have it if we have the rail line oh if we have the rail line over there. Oh, we don't even have inserters. Okay. So we have chests here. Let's get rid. Oh, that was me. Let's get rid of what's in the way. Me. Like that. And then we need. Oh, we don't have any belts. We should probably go and get a couple of yellow belts. But let's map it up with the with the blue ones. We have four. Then we uh, then we have splitters like this. So we need to move this track up by two. One. And two. That should give enough space to uh, have inserters, to have the chests, wherever we have those. There we go. To have uh, To have more inserters, uh, then have the belt and the two splitters, and then we have plenty of space to be able to finish it off. Good. This is where we want we want the rail track to be. Now we just have to figure out how we get out of here and connect it to our rail track back to our base. Actually, it's kind of bad to leave it as I have done. Since we have the blue belts, I don't want those to be destroyed. The rest of it, I don't care that much about. But the blue belt, they are expensive. And especially the splitters. With the, uh, with the red circuits. Okay. But let's see now. Oops. Okay, there we go. And this is in theory connected. Let's have a look. Oh. Let's have a look at the controls. Uh, disconnect train V, connect train G. Okay, so V, and then we continue, we get, oh, that goes there, and we have four wagons, G, there we go, goody, now we just want to see how far we want to go further than that we might have to go to the other side of the forest actually that's not good but it's not it's not is it better to go down in that case yes let's go to the left Let's hope that the Baitos over to the left doesn't attack 
Because I'm not really ready for an attack right now. I mean, I know they might attack. But they don't have any power. At this base... A couple of worms, a couple of nests. We need to take this out. Oh, I thought that I changed it. Let's take this space out and then we can finish the rail station. Oh, that's perfect. They attacked right when I had the uh, lasers placed. Okay. We get a bit damaged, but uh, mostly... Oh, we actually do want to repair that. quite damaged but yeah mostly we survived without without any major things okay that can be taken out as well now let's just repair everything and we can Continue. Okay, nice. All of that is taken care of. And then we go with this. How do we want to do this? We want to move the train along a little bit further. Yeah, let's take this completely down. And then I think... I think around here is kind of in the middle. So that should allow us to do Whatever we want. Uh, we also need a train stop. And let's name it Ion01. You please go to Ion01 until inventory full. Go. Yes. And let's look at the color. We want it. Oh, I always move it the wrong way. We want it to be like, like that. Kind of ion color. Oh, I could have moved it down since I would have the locomotive there, but I wasn't aware of that, so. Okay, so now we have the train line. Let's get rid of uh, get rid of all of the trees on the actual ore as well. And then we need a wall. Oh yeah, yeah, we we can make the wall over there. That's good. I thought about gates, but we do have a flat, uh, yeah, whatever it's called, we can do it. Okay, this isn't as bad as I thought it would be, but I'm only through half of it, and I think the last half is a little bit worse. I can't... Uh, nah. No, I don't need to get iron ore manually. That you do in the beginning of the game. For the first... I 
don't even think you do it the full first minute. The first like 30 seconds you get ore manually and it's mostly coal. Trees, that's another thing that you get manually until you have robots or if you so want until you have a shotgun and can remove it. Remove them that way. I tend to collect the wood and not do anything with it, which of course doesn't make sense. Okay, so now we have that. Now we have to, to see. We have electric mining drills. The one in the bottom goes over there. And then we need a wall around this area. Um, but the wall needs to be reinforced, so we need turrets like that, and then we need we can have the wall. No. Oh. Let's make it a single wall only. We don't want double wall. Well, we do probably want a double wall, but we will not build a double wall. Okay, no tool. Let's create a bunch of steel axes then. Yeah, that's better. This game, when you have to do things manually and don't have a tool, no. That's simply not, it's simply not playable. I mean, to do it until you, oh, what? To do it until you get the uh, tool, that's fine. But not to do it constantly without a tool. Turret. Yeah, like that. And then we have this, we have that, a turret there. And we have the comb. I hope they don't attack now, because now we have placed a bunch of expensive stuff that we don't have any, uh, any protection. Since we don't have the power, it can't. Uh, they can't shoot yet. Okay, we need. How far do we need to go to the right? Mm, let me see. Oh, there we go. So if we have a miner like that. Then we have a turret like that, and then we can have the wall over here. Yeah, and that is covering the uh, that's covering the train just fine. Oh no! Oh, oh yeah. We should have uh, radars as well, or, or at least one radar. Well, no, we should place the radars in the optimal location instead. Come on, please get rid of the trees. There we go, we have this. Uh, and we can just place the power pole on the other side. I mean, we are, if they go for the power poles, we are in trouble. Let's hope they don't. Something like that. What happened here? 
can't place it over there, so let's uh, let's not. Okay, so this is soon done. This is done faster than uh, than I have done anything else in this series, I think. Of course, when I say that, I know that I will get in trouble somehow. I just don't know how yet. It seems to be covering all of it. Goody. Uh, except over here, of course. Now let's get some turrets in place. So one turret over here, but we don't want that. We want we want that turret, and we want that turret. Let's get let's remove that. Two turrets in the corners, and then turrets in the uh, in the straights as well. Remove that. There we go. And two more corners. And I see no reason really to remove. Um, remove all remove all of the trees let's just remove the trees we need to remove the rest is actually pretty good to still have okay that's all the corners um I think the next step well no the next step is to get power to the turrets in the corners uh, because if we are not here when they when the biters come for the attack we will regret that we didn't do this so let's do it like this we might have to move that around oh that yeah just let it be it have mined one ion and have have generated a tiny bit of pollution there we go come on and here we go And we just need one more power pole over there. I think that will be enough for right now. Oh, let's go to manual. It will be enough for right now for what we need to be able to leave it for a little while will be able to defend itself it's not enough uh, to be able to defend itself when we have the full mining mining going but we're not oh, we're not really there yet okay so let's get some steel and build a bunch of chests this is what we always do let's get rid of the wood and then we need a bunch of inserts oh we can grab i hope we have no inserts okay let's build let's grab all of this and all of this i guess 
then we can build oh and iron gear wheels let's grab that as well then we can create a bunch of uh, inserters for our storage area okay what are we missing we are missing inserts we are missing iron surprise surprise no nah, not really Okay, here we go with uh, with a lot of uh, other stuff. So that's it. We create all of it as we have it right here. And let's get some chests in place. Go. Whoops. Okay, we have all of that. We have all of this. Let's go with the next one as well. Okay, we have that. We have most of the things. Well, no. Yeah, technically we have most of the things set up, but not enough. Okay, so we have like 200 extra rails that we didn't need to create apparently. Let's let's use some of the iron gear wheels. What do we need to create more of those? Oh, the electronic circuits, that's true. belts we have goody so we did a little bit of that in the middle of everything but what we really went back for was the was to get some more miners we have plenty of them there we go I just have a hard time finding them apparently whoa like 200 and that's not all we have we have plenty more please go down this is this is a simple simple way a simple first train line of course the train lines will be way more advanced than this but to start we only need iron and for only iron this is what we need okay let's grab that let's grab the uh, the extra miner we have done here let's grab the iron ore and then we can start placing everything and I'm thinking let's just have a gap over one having uh, um, yeah that's fine having it having the uh, what do you call them the belts go upwards need it there. 
can do it like this. I don't like messing around with it like this, but hey, what do what do you do when the uh, when the patch looks like this? Oh, we can leave a gap of one instead of two, and then we don't have to worry about this area. But we do need to worry about that single spot. There we go. We have that. Mm, yep. And yep. And there and there. Leave a gap of two again. Gap of two. And yeah, and we always choose, if we have one gap of one, we choose to have that in the middle. Because I think that is, well, I know that is better. Here we have 27k, here we have 20k, and in the middle we have 37 and 41. Okay, these overlap, but still it's much more in the middle than in the uh, on the edges. So it does sum up, oh no, how many, one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, this is not good. It doesn't really matter, that's the thing. Oh, let's do it like this. Let's do it like that, and this handles everything, and then we just go one over. Yeah, that's good. And of course we forgot to grab some belts. But we have all of the, uh, all of the miners we need. Now we only need belts and inserters. And chests. Yeah, we need one more chest. Actually, we need a bit of wood for that. Let's go up and grab the wood right away. Okay, so we do... We do get a bit of wood. Let's keep one stack, or something like that. And then we need belt. And we have those over here. And from that we can build a couple of splitters as well. Like 20. And we still have plenty of belts, I think. So let's see if we can get this to work now. Oh, it have to stop while it changes to automatic. Strange. Oh well. Oh yes, we want the gates to finish before we actually start the mining. Otherwise, the biters can just run straight in. I don't know if they would do it, but they could. That's bad enough. So we basically want this. We want the belt to go up here. Um, belt. Another belt. Oh. Start all the way down there. And we have this one. We don't have enough belts. No way. We do not have enough belts. Let's just go to the right ok 
Okay, we don't need that anymore. But we do need split also. Uh, belt. There we go. Okay. But this one. Okay, we actually need to get the setup for the wagons as well. That might be a little bit more than to remove than we absolutely need to. Uh, and then I'm thinking about sidewise. Lengthwise, it seems to be okay. Okay, we need chests. This takes four rows, so one row each. Goody. We need a bit of belts. We need a few splitters. There we go. There we have that set up. Oh, we could uh, actually try just do it like that. So get half of those to this, half of those two to that one, and then we get the rest of this one, the, or the rest of those two, the rest of those two, and all of this to split into those two. Okay, we need to... Uh, well, we could just create a blueprint to make it simple. Yes, create there and there and there. Then it's easy to know what to remove. Goody. Yeah, we have loads to remove. Good. Goody. Okay, everything removed. Or we just need to build it as well. We do get this to the right, and this we go straight up. Okay, let's get rid of that tree, I guess. that we need I think the easiest way is to just put a splitter in over here we need to get that removed either way and then we go let's go straight up 
from here. And this one have to go to the left to meet this one. That's fine. Okay, that's good. No, no more research. Oops. But can we create a few, few gates? Yes, we can. Let's get rid of that one as well. Oh, you don't have any more belts. Okay, let's create. We don't need that many belts. We do need one splitter over there. We do need to get rid of those trees. And oh, there we go. There we go. That should be everything we need. Apart from the gates, of course. Oh, yeah, will the gates close or is the train? Too close to gates. Train is too close. That's bad. We could fix this, I think. Let's create a bunch of rail signals. Oh, the gate opened for me, not for the train. Okay, that's good. Okay, so if I exit the train and tell you to go to Iono, will this gate close or not? It will close. Good, we don't need to worry about that. We don't need to do some special setup. Goody, I was just about to set signals and control the gate from the signals, which I think would have worked, but it's really not the way you want to control a gate. Not if you uh, don't have to at least. Uh, let's make sure we get some power. No. We have everything else. What we need now is power. This is controlling all of those. Let's get that. Over here, there we go. Go with these. Oh, thought they were connected with the chub. There we go. All of the miners started to work. Oh, but none of the stuff by the train has started to work because we haven't set that up yet. And it's pretty bad to set the power to work when we don't have the... Uh, when we don't, haven't fixed the uh, defense yet. I'm thinking in the middle here, it seems like they overlap. So in the middle, if we put in two more turrets, They should base, they should cover more or less everything. But we need to get rid of a few trees for that. Oh, oh my, there I am. Okay, so if we set up one 
over there. No, we need to go further to the left. One over there. And one over there. That's perfect what I want to do. And we can just set up one power pole in the middle. Great. Then we do the same at the bottom. The size seems to be pretty, pretty nice. Let's see, over there and over there. We just move this power pole. Oh, that power pole it is. We move that and then on the right side, oh yeah, we want, we might, yeah, no, this works out I think. This we want to remove. Uh, turrets. Let's say we place one turret over there. And we place one turret over there. And those could actually be single turrets. Yeah. That's an idea. There we go. And there we go. And this we can remove. And now we only have a few turrets on the left side as well. Uh, there we go. Around this area. There we go. It's flashing nicely. And there we go. Also flashing nicely. Please. Done. And done. Okay, so all of that is fixed. Uh, the only thing needed is some power and some lights by the train. I don't care about lights in the rest of this area. But by the train, I think it should be lit up. Okay, there we go. So if we take this train, jump on board, go to manual, and then we go to the other side. First of all, we want to place some gates on the other side. Reverse, please. There we go. Letting the train through. And then we... We want one train stop. And we also want some more rail there we go and the train stop we have there oh we could have named it this is iron or temp unload okay now they are blowing things up. Let's go and take care of them. Let's have a look at the map, see what they actually are doing. Okay, they are blowing the walls up. And they get got into the turret. Okay, we don't need to worry too much. Apparently. But let's jump aboard the train. Add 
and or temp unload until an inventory empty and go there. So the idea now is that we have this setup. It's only a temporary setup, but let's go over there. We have a full train. We have, a, I think it's a stack size of 50 for ore. That should be 2,000, that's 8,000 ore that we have ready for when we need it. Since the Baitos dared to attack us, we need to go and take care of them. Uh, but let's first drop off what we don't want. That we don't want, we don't want the rails, we don't want assembly machines and not assembly machine one. Yeah. Not those 10 gay. 10 uh, walls. It's enough with one stack of walls. But let's go down and take care of the walls that they damaged. Oh yeah, there is one thing I forgot about. I know we haven't built an unload. I don't care about the unload, really. Because we don't need it right now. Just want to make sure that we do have the material and we can get it if we need it. Uh, but right now let's get oh let's get some more walls up. Since they have fought through the wall once, let's Double up the walls, wall fitness. That should take care of it. That should take care of all the biters attacking over there. Maybe they will attack here instead. But then they then they will have to do that or attack here for that for that matter. Then they have to do that. What I forgot was the oh yeah, this is this looks well uh, uh, well defended. What I forgot about was the uh, radar. We should have one radar. Yeah, it's just about that area actually. Oh no. Can't, can we walk while doing that? Yes, you please go there. Actually, you please stop. Do I have enough resources to create a radar? And yes, I do. I don't know one. Please go. We have a radar. We want to place it. The only reason I got the train was that it's a bit faster to use the train than to walk. And we don't really lose any time doing it either. Okay. Uh, did I create the radar? Yes, I did. Oh, can we place it on the inside? That would be great. If we place it there, does it line up? Yes, it lines up perfectly. And if we are not there, if we don't have that, we should get this small gap. Yes, we do. That's perfect. We have a radar which of course will get the biters to attack. Let's have a look down here. Yeah, another base. Yeah, this map 
We have no water, we have no defense really. And it is in, oh, we are almost full. Let's make sure to get everything. And then we uh, ride back with the train as the last thing we do in this episode. But yeah, having this bad map, well, it's a really good starting area, really well defended. But as soon as we get out of it, having this map, when we have the restrictions we have, that is not ideal. Oh well, that's just how it is. I could have chosen another map. Of course I didn't know at that point in time. But you can always do something different if you really want to. Okay, so what do we want to do? Well, we do want to get all of the inserters we have over here. We do want to get uh, all of the steel. Copper cable and the iron gear wheels. And... Oh, and the green circuits, of course. And then we can create steel chests. And we can create fast inserters and yeah let's not worry about the fact that we are creating uh, electronic circuits manually that's not a big deal as long as we don't create the iron gear wheels or copper cables it's kind of okay So let's continue. A few more, please. Two, four, six, eight, ten for each row. Okay, uh, twenty four of those chests. it and then we have the inserters oh, not that one please there we go we have this set up We might, maybe, have all the inserters we need. I do think we have all the inserters we need. If not, we are building the last bunch of inserters we need. Okay, we don't want to create anymore. Okay, all the inserters are placed are in place. We need a bunch of chests more. So I'm oh I want to get those, but uh, we need lots of chests, not only a few of them. Where do we have steel? Steel we have here. Oh yeah, let's grab a bunch of iron. That's a good idea. Oh, and then we can... Apparently we don't get enough iron that we can get the steel fully up and running. Okay, let's turn this. 
just to get to not get anything in these uh, furnaces. And then we can fill those furnaces as well with iron. Making sure we get even more steel. Okay, so now we should get way more steel than we got before, and way less iron. Oh yeah, how is the research? We are not researching anything, I'm just thinking have everything filled up, because if it have, then we don't have to, have to do anything more for the research. We could just do this and have a look. Oh, this I, I guess. Oh yeah, those are irritating. 2020, 20, 77, 420, 23. Yeah, this seems to be okay. I mean, it's not super. We actually have more than I want of everything. Especially the grey one, but that's because we had it too much before. But it's okay. Wait, what happened? We don't have any more power. Whoa, what? Because we are mining a lot more. Yes, that makes sense. Our steam engines have some power and our accumulators have some power. We are not able to charge everything during daytime. And now during night time. I only hope that we don't get attacked. Honestly. Oh wait. Is it that we have zero power which includes zero power to start the pumps to get yes it does we don't have any power so we can't start it no and the bite saw attack we can't start the pumps to get some more power that is actually pretty bad we need to run up manually and get hold of these biters. Oh no. Hopefully they don't get down and start to demolish what we have collected. Oh yeah, we have this as well before. Okay. They were killed. Oh, and they are attacking here as well. Please, please make sure that we get enough power to defend ourselves. We need to go down here and repair. But first, let's let's get this under control. And let's Double up the wall here. Okay. It was pure luck that this didn't get demolished completely. Okay. Double up that wall. And then we need this train to go back. 
Well, we don't need it, but it's easier to use the train. It's faster. So let's... We can go to manual. And just back up. Of course, we kind of expected this to happen because all of a sudden we started uh, mining and made a lot more pollution than we had before in a new space. In a new area, I mean, not space. And now we are not mining that much anymore. But let's have a look at the map. If we turn on the pollution, it is this space. This might attack as well. Oh, I think we were lucky we didn't get more damage than we did. And luck is of course in... Uh, Oh, but this doesn't really help. Okay, let's plunk down another few, another few turrets in that corner. I don't want that to happen again. So it's that corner. Oh. And here they come again. Okay, that shows that we need to go and take care of them. And the sooner the better. If it's only this one, it's fine. Mm. But if it's more than that, it can be kind of hard to do. Oh, and they are getting from the left as well. Yeah, this is... This is gonna be... This is gonna require some work to get everything clean, cleaned up. But when they come from below... Yeah, it's that base and that base. And we have that base and we have bases up here. You know what? I will clean this up again. Let's grab that stone as well. I think it's still 20, even though it's that damaged. Yes, it is. Then we don't let that stone go to waste. But let's clean this up for now. And then hide inside the walls. And in the next episode, if we remember, we will go around and clean up some bases like these, I guess, all the area around here, or something like that. But anyway, that's for the next episode. Thank you a lot for watching this episode. See you next time. Bye!